Cubs. We can expect a close one here at Little John Coliseum. Great view for the tip. And we are underway as Wake Forest brings it down to start. Valentine's Day to everybody out there. We hope that before the celebrations begin, the chocolate, the pizza, whatever it may be, you will <laughs> keep it with us here as a, a, a three starts it off from Jules Spear. Conti and Ivana Ratza, the two leading scorers for this team, both seniors. Here's Gina Conti pulling for three. Yes, back-to-back -back threes to get it going for Wake Forest. It's by BYU in those... Uh, projections. The, the committee, uh, uh, you talk about a tough year as Felicia Washington gets Clemson on the board there. But they are truly an extension of her. They know their roles um, and they kind of steady this entire squad. But Coach Hoover, as they say, has been coaching her butt off this season. Watch Clemson defensively. Right now they're in a man and Washington is guarding Conti using her length kind of shading from her. Man, Ivana Ratza is so tough. Group has shown shades of that in spots. Conti, Great nice pass. feed underneath to Ratza for two, and Ivana Ratza's got four. It's her half or so to, before she really gets warmed up, so it's good to see her mixing it up early. Another feed to Ratza underneath, the first missed field goal of the game for Wake Forest. Mora there to clean it up. She does not make sure or makes sure that Christina gets her, her credit. This has hurt Clemson in the early parts of the game. That is the fourth turnover already. They have been live ball turnovers, which have equated directly to nine points. Literally the lead in this ball game for the Demon Deacons. Starting the ball there. She's the player that this team relies on if they need a defensive stop, and she sets the pace. She also pointed out how they would play the screens. You saw the trap there. Finds Washington with seven on the shot clock. Washington into some tough traffic shots. somehow oh, gets man. it to go player in the entire conference to lead her team in scoring rebounding and assists. she does it all Kaya Harrison you have a team how deep can we go at this point in the season depth is certainly a benefit great rebound off the air ball the rebound there put back for Amari Robinson and Richmond said she hadn't really hit a freshman wall as it were up until that NC State game last time on Thursday as that one falls Luke Forrest got out to a huge lead Amanda Butler actually called a timeout about 45 seconds into the game after two threes were dropped by Wake Forrest Amaya Robinson was doing a great job of working to block out or to post up rather on Scruggs even though the Deacons were in a zone wow she can hit that she can hit that that I'm not mad at that shot Conti, nice feed to Mora underneath. Gina Conti and Ivana Ratza have made this team better and have really brought to light the Olivia Sumiels of this team and the Christina Moras of the team. There's Jewel Spear. Tension that she requires from the defense. Hank can't really get into help position because she's got to be cognizant of what Mora is doing. Ratza from three. Ivana Ratza has the capability to do that. Sister Bobby Jean and her brother Jake joined her on a very special episode of Debbie's podcast, Nothing But Net, and they talked just about how much Cookie's path through Clemson actually changed both her life and her family's life. Girls and Women in Sports Day this month, so I think that's such a perfect tie-in. No question about it. Enough ball movement for Clemson offensively. Look at how many passes Wake is getting into. I mean, just off the top of my head, I believe that's now seven, and it's an easy two. They've done a great job of sharing the ball. There's Amari Robinson fighting for the bucket there. It's going to be so nutty. I mean, I thoroughly expect a few upsets wrinkled in there. Um, both of these squads as Watson gets that turnaround to go from the free throw line extended. We should do a round table with alum head coaches. Coach Hoover, Coach Ivy, yeah. obviously come to mind immediately in the ACC is Ratza, fist pump. You know, we don't know. to do that as well. Indeed. Now, and we don't, we don't know. We don't have any insider information. But you wonder, with the opportunity to get this year of eligibility back. Kendall Spray, her first points of the game in a long three. The NCAA's active career three-point leader now with 348 May career threes. And answered by a young up-and-comer, Jewel Spears, who could be on that list one day. Give you a little bit of a boogie, as I like to call it. I still cannot forget that crossover step back from the mm -hmm. first quarter. Woo! Okay. Right, spray, spray stepping in a little shootout here. Takes it all the way to the rim, but misses. Mm. Wow. That, you, you can't afford to do that. Half-court heave for Conti. Yes! Whoa! 
Gina Conti at the buzzer at the half. Count Sam? Oh, yeah. yeah. Plenty of time. Wow. You talk about things going your way. Of the ACC season, just two weeks left. Both these teams projected by Charlie Cream to be the last four in. There's Christina Mora again with the and one. Still able to put a shot up. Conti's feeling good. You throw an alley oop to Ivana Rata? Oh, this confidence is sky high. Oh, Gabby Elliott finishes and the foul. Was Michigan Miss basketball. Michigan Gatorade player of the year. Five-star recruit for Amanda Butler. Nice shot there by Jewel Spear pulling up off the bounce. Janaya Mirtens kicks it off there to Tyler Bennett. Puts, in it, puts it in there. Her rotation, she's, there's like four girls that play between that 10 and 15 mark. So Coach Butler's willing to go down her bench if you could be productive. Good Free feed pass. underneath to Moore. There's the offensive rotation. Everybody in that play touched the ball. I loved what Coach Butler said, and I mentioned this earlier. Nothing but opportunity in front of us, and that's how every team has to feel. But you also have to go in and capitalize on said opportunity. In defending the half court and limiting the transition opportunities for Clemson. They only have two fast break points. 11th turnover for Clemson now in this game. Jules Spear on the other end. Puts it in and get it back to 20 point lead. Washington Good pass. skip pass underneath to Bennett. Good pass. Right over the head pass. Ratza pulling up in space, rattles it home, and Ivana Ratza now 18 points. He's only given up two transition points to the Tigers. Here's Scruggs from a long three. Count it. <laughs> Skip pass. Knocked by Scruggs, but Spray gets the shot off. Misses Washington there on the offensive board. They have been out-rebounded. Just they've closed the gap in rebounds, though. 21 to 20. Wake Forest has the edge. Good move by Rots underneath. Cool post player up and under. She can... Obviously, it still it works. She can split defenders. She just has great finish and touch around the rim. There's Gabby Elliott on the post. Conti, four seconds. And it's good. Gina Conti just coming up with a couple of buzzer beaters, had a half court shot, and then there to end the third quarter. <sighs> Man. I, I, when it rains, it pours. This is terrific for Wake Forest. It's obviously not ideal if you are um, Clemson. Always can go classic peanut butter and jelly, but so of many course. Gen X folks are allergic to nuts, so I don't know if that's, you know, I don't know. We're going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> that's too easy for Gabby Elliott. Last week on a call that I was on that he's not sure if anybody's going to be fully confident in where their team is by the time we get to the tournament because of all of the oddities of this year. Scruggs doesn't mind mixing it up, but she doesn't have the necessarily the height and it really goes Christina Moore in terms of being that center position and then Ratza, but she has so much on her plate and so many responsibilities. In the upper half in defensive rebounding, offensive rebounding, Wake Forest ranks 13th in the conference. Here's Kendall Spray from the corner, count it. Things that we didn't think could do it. And Coach Muffin McGraw, we know her, her blood runs deep with that uh, university, but she said toast because she thinks that this team is growing and they're focused mm -hmm. and they have had some really close games against uh, top teams in the league. Washington fading away from Roxa, and that's a 10-point deficit now. About a 78% free throw shooter. Yep. unusual for her to miss. Clemson has a little bit of life. And a Hanks three wow. rattles home. Home cooking, shall we? Down to eight points. Both teams in the bonus, so we're shooting free throws the rest of the way. Great pass up the floor to Conti, and she lays it in. Washington picks up the dribble there. Finds Elliott. Elliott for a long three. Yes, count it. Okay. Is comfortable letting the clock wind down to zero. And so Wake Forest picks up a road win and a crucial road win, 72 to 65.